Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Repairing Mantis. A horror game where you play a praying mantis that really needs to build a bridge and may require squirrel flesh. Once upon a time, a praying mantis wanted to repair a bridge. Oh man, I'm a mantis. How you doing? I do mantis things. This is kind of Kafka-esque in a very odd way. Oh my god, I can fly! Somewhat. Hey there, alligator. Or crocodile. It's a bit dull. The weather's nice. I live in a beautiful forest. Sure thing. I have everything I need. I think I would like something more out of life, but I don't know what. Do you ever feel like that too? Yes. What's this over here? Mantis, Mantis. Got a decent amount of like momentum to that. Let's go up here. Yeah, I kinda figured out where I'll run. Hold up, I hear living things. Hello, is anyone around here? Life? Meat? Oh, hey there, buddy. Hold up. I'm bored. I, I, I want to talk to you. Not kill you. Have you seen the squirrel who's trying to fly? No, I haven't. He's a bit stupid, don't you think? That's kind of mean. He wasn't born with the ability to fly. Besides, he doesn't even know anyone who can fly. He's very optimistic. I feel like you should, like, support your friend. Your squirrel friend. Now, what are you? Uh, this was the thing I was kind of curious about. I think it's just a weird tree. Hmm. Are you the squirrel that can't fly? What is that? I hate being after while I work. Hello, praying mantis. Hi. How you doing? No, you're not bothering me. I was picking up branches to build a flying machine. Oh, you're gonna fly in that way. Do we know each other? I have to go. Where are you coming from, mantis? Where are you coming from, Mantis? Um... I come from L.A. Well, I'd love to visit that place someday. A lot of Mantis is there. Do we know each other? No, I never met. I don't remember meeting you. Are you sure it was me? Yeah. I didn't know I had a friend. I'm glad to know you. What should friends do together? It just we're choosing their responses. What do friends do together? Play video games. And give that friend money. We help each other? Hmm, that makes sense. Speaking of mutual aid, I'm trying to fly. Would you help me fulfill my dream, dear friend? Sure, I, why not? Oh, it's okay, I understand. What about you, do you have a dream? Get rich. For a praying mantis. I can help you if you want. What do you need to repair the bridge? Oh, oh. Why do I have a choice here? Maybe choose a nicer option first. 
these branches? No, I really need these to build my flying machine. You sure about this? Please don't insist. These branches are important to me. Let's use something else. You you sure about this, squirrel? Oh. I guess it's a good idea. With my body, we could repair the bridge. If you care so much about that bridge, I can give you a part of my body. <laughs> Here, take my wing. Oh my god. The music's gotten darker. <laughs> it's twitching. Oh no. Squirrel, what did you... Great. That's not what you should be saying. You can take my wing. I hope it will help you repair the bridge. Thanks. So how's the bridge repair going? It's going alright. Let me know when you get the bridge fixed with my wing. Squirrel, you sure you, uh... Is this... This is the bridge? It's a living organism. I think it's happy. Does anyone here speak bridge? Squirrel, I think it's... Why are you crying? The sky is changing. Hey, what? The sky's changing. Am I hallucinating? Am I hallucinating? I don't know, you're a squirrel, you tell me. But it's true, the sky's really changing. It scares me. Just thinking about making my tummy hurt. You want some... you want some tums? Come for you to know it's normal. All this cannot be normal, I don't believe you. It's just, it's kind of an interesting gimmick. Phew, it's comforting to know it's normal. Thank you for being there for me. Friends are meant to help each other, as you've taught me. Do you need my other wing to continue repairing the bridge? Take it, dear friend. Squirrel! No! Oh well, I'm a praying mantis, that's what we do. Are you, are you really dodging? Why is it still dangling there? Wonderful. You still have my wing? You still have my wing? Use it to repair the bridge. I don't need it anymore. I'm much lighter without it. It should help me fly. At least it can't hurt. <laughs> okay. Well, I should probably check out what's over there. Let's no, up there. Let's before I go back there. Let's let you look around a little. It's like a waterfall over here. Yeah, every time we we repair the bridge, the sky does. I'm not sure it's just becoming night or what. Hmm. There's a lot of areas to explore, but not necessarily anything to do in them. Makes you think of old PC games. These have kind of like just really big openish areas. Um, the trees are organic. They are moving and swaying like things that pay taxes. Check the forest out. Because the whole game can't just be us, like, chopping up pieces of one singular squirrel, can it? It's got to be more to life. Oh, look, there's another squirrel. Let's talk to them. How about you? Are you a philosophical squirrel? It's beautiful. It's as if we were in a dream. It's inspiring. 
Hey, crocodile. Wow. Have you seen all these stars? They are magnificent. Which one is your favorite? That one. Oh, I can never choose. They are all pretty. Hey, squirrel. What's going on? What's going on? Oh. Building a bridge. I've never seen the stars before. Seems like a new world is presenting itself to us. It's exciting. Hey, why are you crying? I hope it's not my fault. The sky is so dark. The sky is so dark. My stomach aches. I can't stand it anymore. You are getting a little... bloated. Can you take it? Use my stomach to repair the bridge. Uh... Uh... Hello? You do my belly. I don't know you. Are we friends? I don't know you. Are we friends? Take it saying yes. What are you doing in my belly? What are you doing in my belly? So you probably know what's going on with the sky? Are we like a parasite? We're just like... That's why we control their dialogue? Hey. Language. I don't believe you. You gotta believe me. It's impossible. Go back in my belly. Stop. Let me go. Praying Mantis, cut the cord. Cut the cord. Don't do it. No. Not my tail. I beg you, cut the cord. Cord. Did I do the right thing, flying parasite? Hey, don't give me hell. See you later. Make him a star. Well, good for you. Path chosen. Because this I failed, you saw I complete my flying machine. This time I won't panic in the air. Even if I have to cut my tail. The moth was right, I should have given my tail. Because this I failed to fly, but I'll try again. Squirrel, why do you go for the suffering? I think all we can do is just cut the tail. Ah! Thank you, squirrel. It seems we are building a bridge to the stars. Meat. We have just linked the world tree of the cosmos. Uh... Squirrel? I kind of get somewhat what happened. If the squirrel didn't have a sever the, um, the cord, it would have technically flew to the stars with the moth, so it would have completed its dream of flying. That's why I said, like, I shouldn't have been scared. 
Well, I guess we're going up to the cosmos then instead. Where am I? But it can't be words than never having a dream in the first place. Losing a dream seems horrible. But it can't be worse than never having a dream in the first place. Hey, alligator, I mean crocodile. I could talk to her, make you forget my problems for a while. Hello, praying mantis. Hey. I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm alright. I don't want to bother with my problems. No, no, everything's fine. You sure? I'll change the subject. She won't stop asking questions or I say nothing. Okay. My problem is that I've never had a big project. I chewed some wood. I watched the horizon. And that's it. I would love to work hard on something, but nothing fascinates me. People should want to help me. Before my life comes to an end, I'd like to know how it feels to have a dream. Can you please give me a dream, please? Pretty please? I'm wasting time on my problems. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd really love to have a dream. Come back if you find one. Bye bye. You seem lost. You know where we are? We are what we call reality. This world is exactly like you would imagine in your dream, but it's less pleasant. In reality, there are only finished things. No dreams can emerge from reality. Dreams only exist on the other side of the bridge. So come back with a dream for you. Here's where one of the squirrels... Squirrel... Um... Sure. I feel lonely. Hello, praying mantis. I know you're busy, but can I tell me about my problems? What? Thank you, my problem is that... I've lost my dream. I've lost my dream. I used to dream of flying. Now I'm not having a dream because I've achieved it. Oh, you're the... I don't know what to do anymore. I no longer have a life goal. When I was young, I was always dreaming about flying. Flying was the only thing in my mind. Now nothing makes me want to get up in the morning. Uh, choices. I'm less motivated. I'm less motivated. I have less energy. I'm a coward. Maybe that's what being an adult is. Uh, I'm a praying mantis. I don't even know the concept of adult. But apparently that was touching to you. I miss dreaming. I miss wanting something. I need help. I need help. I would love to get my dream back, but I can't cross the bridge. I'm stuck here. We- we just- when it, You just sacrificed your flesh for the bridge. Can you cross the bridge to get my dream back? You will me to go back across the bridge? Thank you. Once you cross the bridge, you should find my dream right here. At the top of the hill. Sure. Oh, about the bridge. It's rising right now. Good luck. Hello, Prey Mantis. Do you remember where to fulfill my dream? This is not interesting. Never mind. Goodbye. This is a very... Bizarre, but in a cool way. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm following it. Flying is shit. <laughs> what? What? I saw one day I'm gonna end it there. Why are you guys all attached from... Organs? There's blood everywhere. Squirrel? Where'd you go?
Leave me alone. Go help another squirrel. So you don't want to talk to me? Fine. Well, I always knew this tree had a purpose of some kind. Alright. Back up the bridge. To the land of dreams. Coast again. Well, Pring Mantis. Hi, Pring Mantis. I'm happy you came to talk with me. These girls don't have any time to talk with me anymore. I admire you. I admire you. You had a dream and you achieved it. You can fly. As for me, I don't have any projects, I don't have a dream. I'm wasting my life. I think it made her uncomfortable. The squirrels don't have to time time to talk with me anymore? Have you seen the squirrels? They're over there. Looks like they all found a dream. Sometimes I envy them. Do you think they're happier than me? So I need to bring you back a dream. I think you all need to be brought back dreams. Um, the bloodstains are still on that tree. If anything... It... Yeah, what? Yeah, I see the spikes. You kind of understand what happened in the other world now. Whoops, I'm falling! Here we go. Oh god, squirrel. Oh, a praying mantis. Hey, praying mantis. Are you okay? I see you've almost managed to fly. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a praying mantis. Congratulations. As for me, my method is a little different. I'm trying to hang myself in this tree. Uh, I've tried a lot to hang myself by a lot of parts. On oh, my front paw. I climbed this reed and pierced my front paw on a branch. When I stump, jumped, my front paw tore off and I fell to the ground. It's discouraging. My role model inspires me to keep going? Have you seen the first flying squirrel? He was hanging by his gut and he fell from up high. Just like me, he suffered a great bunch. But that didn't stop him from building his flying machine. Uh, yeah. Yes, he really is a genius. He created my dream. Since he spans a fly, I started dreaming. I started believing I could accomplish something in my life. I've been talking to him for a long time. I have to try climbing again. I need help. I'm not able to climb the tree anymore. Can you take me and hang me high on the tree? Sure thing. I love helping. This is the thing I do. So what do you want me to... Here? Thank you very much. See you in the sky. Oh! Okay, I understand what happened in the other world now. Ouch. See how the tree wasn't high enough. But I'm not losing hope. You hang me on a very, very high tree? Sure. I'll... I'll get you up a tree, my squirrel friend. What are praying mantises for? Real high tree. You mean like that one there? Hold up. Need to... Stick this landing. This tree's perfect, thanks. I'll tie myself up. It's scary. I don't know if I'll be able to jump. 
do you... This is what you wanted, right? Are you okay? Yes, I've done it. I'm flying, but... But... But I feel weird. I feel like there's a void growing in me. Has my Romano felt the same way when he flew? Actually, yes. Think about what happened to him after he succeeded in flying. Where is he? What will happen to me? Oh my god. No! I don't want to lose my dream. Give it back! It fell in the water. Drop me off. I don't want to fly. I don't want anything. I just want my dream back. Hmm. That's the dream. Are you still trying to fly? I almost had it. I'm gonna have it. Just a bit higher. Youch. Oh damn, I saw him. Now I must say hi. Yeah, you saw me. Hi, praying mantis. Hey. Oh, I see you're busy helping another squirrel. Let's talk later then. See you. Okay, we're going back to the other world with the squirrel's dreams. Hey, do... do you want this dream? Oh wow, thanks, Path Chosen. You shouldn't have. That's so thoughtful of you. I'll try to word this dream. I'll keep you informed of how it goes. There's something I don't understand. I still have a match upon the dream you gave me. Yeah, it's for a squirrel. I'll keep trying. Bye bye. Probably also could have given it to the other one that was over there hanging. That's like upset with itself for pursuing its dream of flying. I'm gonna smoke here now. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of waiting. I'll cut the cord and die. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of waiting. Whoa, boy. Yeah, it won't be pretty. She doesn't want to leave. I told you to leave me alone. You need to, like, cut this out. Make her laugh you one last time. You're worried. You want to save my life? Then let's go, I'm listening. But if you don't convince me, I'll do as I was supposed to. Tell you why I want to kill myself. And you're as boring as hell. I'm tired of waiting. I was thinking about letting go and fall. Don't do it. For sure dying is not really a solution. But there is no solution or I won't have any regrets. But there is no solution. I think there are solutions. It's true, I could. Ask you to get me back up. Climb the cord. Swing myself and fall in the water. I... Based on the rules of this world, I'm not quite sure what would be the correct answer. Ask you to get me back up. I could ask you to bring me back up. But you probably won't succeed. Winnie's the only option left. Except you before flying. 
My life doesn't make any sense. Walking was way better than flying. I can swing myself, but it's boring. I miss climbing trees. I'd like to relive my past. Sadly, I can't go back in time. Yes, I could live out the nostalgia of having my dream back, but... But I can't cross the bridge. You could go grab it for me. It would be awesome. If I gave it to the crocodile. You should find it over there on the other side of the bridge. I will not cut the cord. Thank you. Hey, you again. Hey, Praying Mantis. I'm thinking a lot these days. Do you know where squirrels go when they succeed to the fly? Should I dream too? Should I dream too? It's up to you. Basically, you have no idea either. It's a bummer. How do they manage to keep hope alive? How do they carry on? I don't know. Yet nothing else that keeps them believing in their dream? A role model wouldn't be enough for me. It takes so much work to be able to fly. I'd lose my motivation before succeeding. Hey, Praying Mantis. Do you know where the squirrels go when they succeed to fly? They're going into another world. Wow. Must be better than here. Um. Subjectively, depending on what you think. Got you. Bet you want one of these. Heh. <laughs> I pray, Mantis. Maybe she can help me. Wow, your wings are so big. I dream of having wings to fly. I'm jumping to catch a moth and take its wings. Sometimes I thought that'll achieve my goal. I'm slowly approaching my goal. I'm jumping higher and higher, but I still need to improve. It's normal, but if it's difficult. You never get it right the first time. You have to fall a lot and get back on your feet to achieve your goal. Yep. You asked me if I ever learned something after falling that many times. She thinks... She doesn't understand. Of course I'm learning. Each time I fall, I learn something new and I'm getting closer to my dream. I think you're a bit rude. The first flying squirrel struggled too. To build his machine, he has to sketch a plan for his parts put together. But if you manage to do it, I can do it too. Where is that squirrel anyway? Oh, I didn't know someone had helped him. I should ask for help too. You think you could catch a moth for me? I already did. Thanks, come back with a moth and I'll explain the rest of my plan. Yeah, this is why you have a moth. Thank you. It'd be a big step towards making my dream come true. To begin with, I'll tear the wings off this moth. Turn around, I wouldn't want you to see this. Tee <laughs> she doesn't look traumatized. Now, can you stitch the wings on my back? Uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm a praying mantis. I eat things. Yes, I have some, Fred. Here, take it. Here, I'm helping you out. This is helping. Yeah, you're the best. Now I should be able to fly. I'm free up here, don't you think? You want me to push you? What do I do if... My wings don't flap, I hit something. Can't control my wings. I might die. 
But if I don't jump, what will I do? I don't have anything else to do anyway. You're doing it. You're flying somehow. I, that doesn't work that way, but yeah. You're doing it. You're right, I'm flying. You're flying. It's like I imagined, but not as great. Can we go back to catching moths together? Did they take you to the other world. No, I've lost my dream. Give it back. It fell right there. Drop it, Bob. I have to take it back. Yeah. So, there's probably an ending tied to giving the squirrels back their dreams. You might be able to give the wrong squirrel each respective dream, too. The gator might be a, a bad end route, period. Not quite sure. Well, let's go back with this squirrel's dream. How you doing, Gator? Let's see if I can ruin everything. Thank you. It's weird to see it again after so long. It almost seems as though it's not my dream. In fact, is it mine? I don't know. I'll continue to check it. Should eventually recognize it. I'm still not sure if it's my dream. I should come back soon. Oh! Crocodile! Are you looking for something? Yeah. Well, you want to help the squirrels become happy. That's not easy. You're persistent. Yep. Don't say that. I really think so. I saw you worked hard. You gave me a dream. The one that the suspended squirrel had. Also, you gave a dream to the spent squirrel. You worked hard. But you don't understand anything. But you're not focusing on the right things. By wearing the skin you gave me, I understood everything. I understood what is broken in the world. And above all else, I understand what makes the squirrels unhappy. What? To solve the problem, you must destroy the hope of the fl first flying squirrel. Okay. He's flying machine. You must destroy it. I must destroy the machine? That's what you must do. Trust me, cross the bridge. If you succeed, there won't be any more suffering. This... all makes perfect sense. By crushing its dreams, the Ever Skrulls won't be like, Yo, that squirrel did it, we can do it too. Which somehow also makes sense. Because the crocodile said so. Maybe there isn't like... Maybe it's just like you're alternating the routes and the progression? In the dialogue, it's not necessarily, like, linear. We might have a major choice whether or not to destroy the machine, though. It's a bit dull. The weather's nice. I live in a beautiful forest. Everything I need. I think I'd like something more out of my life. I don't know what. You feel like that, too. Oh, yeah, we've gone back. This is the beginning of the, uh... Game. I suppose you could argue that when you, the squirrel gives up the body parts of the bridge, that's symbolic for someone giving up everything to accomplish their dreams. Yes, yeah, so there's no bridge. You have your wings. Maybe you have to provide work. Hi, Bring Mantis. I have to leave you. I'm busy. I'm building a flying machine. I 
I have to destroy it. I'm sorry. Be careful. You'll damage it. Stop. You'll break it. Why are you doing this? I don't know. What do you want? Do you want to motivate me? I'm, I don't really don't know. Seriously. It's no use. I won't lose hope. You're wasting your time. Even if you break it, I'll still be able to fix it. Stop! I really need this machine. I want to fly. I want to show everybody it's possible to make your dream come true. I want to create a world of hope. Don't break my machine. Do I have a choice? Can I walk away? I think I have to break it. Oh no. It stood back up. Out of the way, squirrel. I have to do it. Can I still fix it? You won't be able to discourage me. This is one of the most depressing game I've ever played. I want to fly now succeed. Don't do it. It's all I have. Well, we will create another one. It doesn't matter. As long as there are some things left, I can make it happen. Stop! There must be some left somewhere. There's nothing left. I've destroyed everything. How will I fly now? I give up. What can I do now? I have nothing left to build my machine. What can I do now? I give up. I will never succeed. The only thing left to do is... Squirrel? Crocodile, what do you mean we do? Repairing Mantis, ending one. Half chosen. Destroy the flying machine. All this cannot be normal. I don't believe you. What will happen to the river? What will happen to the grass? What will happen to the stars? What will happen to me? What will happen to the trees? What will happen to you? What will happen to the forest? What will happen to me? River. What will happen to our friendship? What will happen to our friendship? Oh, my stomach hurts even more now. Let's keep repairing the bridge then. You need my other wing to continue repairing the bridge. Take it, dear friend. Okay, let's take your stomach to build the bridge. Let's do the other choice here. Hello. Let me do my belly. Here we go. Praying Mantis, cut the cord. Cut the cord. Cut the tail. No, not the tail. I'm big. Cut the cord. Yeah, so it takes it off to the other world. So it technically flies, I was right. Moth path. And you get the tail either way. Alright, let's give you the right dream. My dream, wow. Oh, but wait. Is it really my dream? Yeah, it really is your dream. Did you take the one that was right here? Yeah, I did. I mean, there was only one. Yes, it looks like it, but not quite. I'm not sure. I forgot my own dream. Really? Come on now. It's true, I should remember it someday. It should come back. You already lived that life, you can't just shove it back on. So, I'm assuming basically, no matter which squirrel you give back, like, you get the right one, you get the wrong one, they're gonna have the same dialogue. Is it really my dream? Even the, uh, the crocodile alligator. 
also had the same uh, gimmick. Now, based on the discoveries in the main menu, there's going to be a discovery related to you uh, dropping. So we're going to try purposely trigger that. I don't want to let you let me die. You wish I kill myself anyway. You're my friend. I'll listen a bit. I don't have energy left to listen to you. Yeah, half chosen. Oh my god. Ouch. It hurts. Yes, take my dream if you want. Do what you want with it. I don't give a damn. It's over there on the other side of the bridge. Although, I think we have to give them both their dreams to get the other ending. Because now we're going to be forced to give it to the gator, see? Okay. So now we're going to give them both back their correct furs. Thank you. It's weird to see so long. Almost seems as on my dream. That is it mine. So yeah, they have the same dialogue. Even if you give them back the right one. After you check it, eventually recognize it. Alright, let's go back. Crocodile. Are you looking for something? I don't know anymore in this life. Oh, you want to help the squirrels become happy? That's not easy. You're persistent. Yes, I am. Gotta get all the mendings. Don't say that. I really think so. I saw you worked hard. You gave a dream to the scroll of wings. Also, you gave a dream to the suspended squirrel. You worked hard. Yes, I did. But you haven't been successful. Nope. I also have the impression you've tried everything. I can't find a solution either. That's why the scroll at the beginning says like, Oh, we know each other? I don't remember you. I think there's like a loop implication. Whatever you do, the scrolls are always sad here. It looks like the real world is cursed. Maybe this world cannot be fixed. What do you want me to do? Instead of fixing reality, you should just prevent the scrolls from landing there. Break the bridge so no one can cross. Stop hesitating. Did we just break reality under the orders of a crocodile? It's angry. Well, the bridge was broken in the beginning too, right? Isn't it like a cycle? Oh god, reality? Shimigami. Tensei. Route from Shimigami Tensei Apocalypse specifically. The one where you kill all the gods. Oh god, I'm not even flying anymore. It's sucking me in. Ending two, repairing Mantis. Path chosen.
So that's it for the repairing mantis. That is all discoveries. As we can see here, not worth it. Moth Accomplice, Moth Backstab, Dream Giver, The Right Dream to the Right Squirrel, The End of Hope, The End of Reality, and Being There for a Friend. So the endings in the story seems to be interpretation and then symbolism for the transition to adulthood. And you kind of accomplish your dreams and like burnout and all sorts of psychological little effects. The crocodile kind of also represents the person who has less ambitions, has a more simple life, don't think it's hard about, but then they kind of regret also at the end. And then when you give them back their dreams, they're kind of like, this This doesn't seem quite right, but this will eventually work. And it was a key word there with the one of the squirrels, the hanging one, where it said nostalgia. Maybe I can get some of that nostalgia back. So it's not just representing trying to get your dream back, it's representing youth, your childhood, the past, lost passion, all sorts of little things. So all the weird animal gore and stuff like that, it's all just a vehicle for transitioning, like I said, to adulthood. And there's probably some other maybe symbolism I'm maybe not catching. Might be here and there. I try to debate back and forth in my head how literal the symbolism is in the sense of what is something that's supposed to be symbolic and really part of the story? And what is something that's kind of nihilistic because it adds the atmosphere of the game and makes it a little more like scary and kind of like sad. Because some things obviously have a clear message and some parts are more like, did the developer think this could be really like shocking? Let's put this here. You know, it's kind of like that little give and take as far as development direction. I did mention there is a loop aspect because the bridge is destroyed at the start and the squirrel also says, I remember you. Or not, not that I remember you, but you remember them rather. So both endings kind of loop seamlessly, where both can be interpreted as kind of going back and the uh, the crocodile kind of like says, you know, like you're trying to really hard to help make those squirrels happy. I feel like you've been here before. So it, it kind of acknowledges that you're probably going back for the other ending. Little things. But it, it's actually, a, I mean, it's not necessarily much gameplay, but it is a game. It, it's, it's a pretty good, very surreal game. It's extremely unique almost nostalgic feeling in a very curious way like early 2000-ish late 90s PC game I think of that kind of era of somewhat surreal gory sometimes comedic sometimes horror uh, PC uh, series of PC games that came out in that quick stretch of the early 2000s late 90s gave me that similar vibe but yeah certainly certainly a very unique very unique experience anyway so, if you go for watching you play the Repairing Mantis, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.